Guten Abend. Mein Name ist Marlene Kaminski und ich bin heute Abend euer Moderator. Ich begrüße euch herzlich zu einer weiteren Ausgabe von Radio Sinola, die diesmal aus dem tiefsten Weltraum übertragen wird. Hier kommt The Evening Star. Mm -hmm. State Space Café. Drüben in der Ecke schweben Matt Johnson und Steve Pike herum und unterhalten sich über den Weltraum. So you took an interest in it from an early stage? So. Yeah, I was interested. I was interested aware in it. Of it interested. I think I was, in, yeah, I was interested in it before I was interested in football at that point. You know? We didn't have newspapers in our house. We didn't have news come across on the TV. There were no newspapers. 
But what I do remember is that my mum took out a subscription of Life magazine. You know, news-wise, my education would have come through photo stories. When I looked at the moon for years and years and years, the big fantasy I had was that I'd be able to walk on it one day, and I realised that's highly unlikely. Take your camera up there, but you could take one photograph, and you could take that photograph back with you. Probably photograph my shadow on the moon. So I photograph a landscape with my shadow in it, which is kind of like an affirmation of your existence, which is what self-portraiture or, or self-portraits will do. You become, as a photographer, you kind of become obsessed with this. It becomes this, this, almost this pursuit that you have to photograph everything about your life, that you photograph all these different things. You can't just be. But I've started to think more and more and more as you get closer and closer and closer to your, you know, to your, you get a bigger sense of your own mortality. I'm a witness for the time that I'm in. That's what I, that's, I'm no longer screwed up by this. I'm no, I'm no longer fucked up by the fact that, you know, that I think I'm not, I, why have you got to photograph everything? Well, there are things that I do turn away from now. There's, there's not much. I mean, I photograph, but I've always got a camera around with me. Before I met the astronauts, I thought that the amount of information that I'd seen, mainly seen and listened to as well, because that's a huge part of the experience as well, these conversations from afar, I didn't think that I'd be able to imagine what it would be like to walk on them and what it would be like to have that 360-degree experience, the thing. I mean, you've not got the smell that you'd normally get, all those senses. You're kind of isolated within a bubble within it. But I remember speaking to Aldrin about it, and he said that whatever you, whatever you imagined beforehand, you had no bearing on the experience that you actually had, and that kind of reaffirmed what I thought. Just. Embracing reality unprepared, unbenumbed and unknown to myself, thrust from gratuitous haze into piercing recognition of the sudden uncomfortable fact that this life is mine only. And this is what I have chosen to do with it. A fleeting clarity, a sense of exposure, a liability. It lasts only a few seconds, seems too much to bear and disappears.
Und jetzt spielen wir unseren letzten Titel für heute Abend. Coming Home.